I'm John Prisco, President and CEO of Quantum Exchange. John, thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. Nick. I'm the incrementalist, and uh, we're talking about quantum exchange. Tell us briefly, what is it that quantum exchange does? Well, it recognizes that our encryption algorithms are under siege, and really have been so from the very beginning, from 1975 to the present time. Uh, what we're doing is we're improving uh, encryption, and we're doing that with a new type of key called the quantum key. And the quantum key differs from any other type of secret key in that it's entirely compri comprised of light. So we're using photons to further encrypt existing keys that are used today. If somebody tries to eavesdrop and steal the key or in any way uh, observe it, due to a law of physics, that key changes its state and becomes useless in terms of decryption. So for those of you that are geeks on this uh, viewing, I just want to highlight that's the Heisenberg principle uh, or the Heisenberg uncertainty principle um, and the fact that that now becomes uh, invalid because we've observed that key. That's correct. So we're not depending upon solving a difficult math problem, which all other encryption depends upon. We are relying on a law of physics. Fantastic. So one of the things that uh, I understand is that this is not uh, a separate uh, entity. It's a, a, a solution that essentially fits with existing infrastructure. Tell us a little bit about that. It does. And we recognize that millions of dollars have been invested in encryption solutions by many companies. So what we do is we simply take the key that's currently generated by those encryption devices and we further encrypt it with our quantum key. So it's relatively light lifting for a customer to add quantum encryption to their already uh, encryption standards. And you, your process for doing that, you essentially have uh, commissioned dark fiber, so fiber that's uh, currently not in use. You, you have an existing uh, routing that's uh, currently in place today. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we've acquired dark fiber all the way from Boston to Washington, D.C. We'll be uh, turning up the first leg of that, which connects New York, lower Manhattan, with New Jersey, and we'll address the healthcare and financial services markets. Um, and, and one of the examples that we talked about um, was, was the implementation of this for uh, the oil industry. They have an oil rig um, uh, with a wide range of IoT devices. What's going on there? That's correct. So IoT devices are quite susceptible to uh, being broken into and controlled in a way that is uh, unpredictable. So what we're doing there is we're providing quantum keys so that that entire path of fiber from shore to the oil rig uh, is secure and can't be broken into. And one of the most exciting things about this is that this is tamper evident uh, key uh, use. That's right. If uh, It is possible to tap into an optical fiber. However, with a quantum key traveling over that fiber, the quantum key changes its state as a result of being disturbed. And that key basically dissolves, and it's quite evident that the key won't work. So uh, for the healthcare industry, this is a, a, an add-on solution from an encryption standpoint that essentially uh, creates a solution that allows us to encrypt uh, in a persistent way, and that's really important for healthcare. Yes, it is. I think healthcare data is probably the longest shelf life data, and of course, it has more than just social security numbers, it has your entire health history. So it's clear that that's data that will be stolen, has been stolen, will continue to be stolen. Um, so we need to have a way to prevent it from actually being read. And the way to do that is to use a key that can't be broken. That's fantastic. So here we are. We've got a potential solution for this uh, huge uh, long-term risk for healthcare data um, using quantum keys. Very exciting. John, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Uh, I'm Dr. Nick. I'm the incrementalist. Don't let perfection stand in the way of progress.